We know that our bond price formula is equal to the present value of coupon payments plus the present value of future value. So what are the variables we have here? We have phase value, we have maturity, we have coupon rate, and we have yield to maturity, and then we have bond price. So we have five variables here. So we could give you phase value, maturity, coupon rate, yield to maturity, and ask you to calculate the bond price. Or we could give you phase value, number of payments, which is maturity, coupon rate, bond price, and then we ask you to calculate yield to maturity, which is our little i here in this formula. So I'd like you to look at this formula and try to rearrange this formula by putting i on one side, all other variables on the other side. Is it easy to be done manually? The answer is no. Therefore, we use Excel to calculate yield to maturity. And this will be the easiest and the quickest way to calculate yield to maturity by using Excel functions. But do we have an approximate formula? Like for example, if we have pen and paper, can we use this approximate formula? Yes. But this approximate formula is not accurate formula. It will give you a very close rate to the actual yield to maturity. So let's get a numerical example. Let's assume that we have a phase value of 100. We have maturity of three years. We have coupon rate of 10%. And this bond is trading at the bond price is 105.15. So what will be our coupon payment? We know that the formula of coupon payment is coupon rate times phase value, so it will be 10% times 100, it will give us 10. Then, what will be our yield to maturity? We said that every time we'd like to use yield to maturity formula and we'd like to get an accurate percentage, we need to use Excel function. So, here in Excel, we put all the variables we have in Excel. We have the bond price 105.15, phase value 100, maturity 3 years, coupon rate 10%. What will be our yield to maturity? We will use function called rate. So we'll say equal rate, open bracket, and follow the function here. The first term here is number of payments, so we'll choose three, comma. What will be our payment? And our regular payment here is our coupon payment. So what is the formula of coupon payment? It's coupon rate times phase value, comma. We need to get our present value. The present value is the bond price. And remember that we have a negative relationship between phase value and the bond price, which means you will pay the bond price now, but you receive future value or phase value in the future. Therefore, with the bond price here or the present value, we'll put negative and we'll choose here the bond price. Comma, what will be our future value or phase value? We will choose here phase value of 100. And then we'll put comma, and then he will say, will this be at the end of the period or beginning of the period? It is end of the period, and the default one is end of the period, which means I could just close the bracket here, and then press enter. So in this example, if bond price is 105.15, phase value is 100, and the maturity is 3 years, coupon rate is 10%, so our yield to maturity will be 8%, and this is the accurate answer. So our yield to maturity, is 8% based on Excel, which is our accurate formula. Do we have another way to calculate yield maturity? Yes, we have, which is an approximate formula. And we said before that approximate format means that's not accurate, but it will give you a close percentage to the actual yield maturity. So what will be our approximate formula for yield maturity? It's equal to coupon payment plus phase value minus bond price divided by maturity, all of this divided by the average of phase value plus bond price, which is phase value plus bond price divided by two. So let's substitute in this form. We have a coupon payment of 10 plus, we have a phase value of 100 minus bond price of 105.15 divided by maturity of three, all of this divided by phase value of 100 plus bond price 105.15 divided by two. This will give us a yield to maturity equal to 8.08%. .08 and this is an approximate percentage. The accurate one is 8%, but it's very close. So in case that you don't have Excel and you just have a pen and paper, you can use the approximate formula to know what will be the approximate yield maturity.